who are you and what is your position on this film? If you don't know that by now, Vinny, we're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I'm Peter McKenzie and I'm the director of this thing. And then if you don't behave yourself, I'll fire your ass. <laughs> it took, uh, um, I guess, 15 years to write this film. Um, inspired me. No, I, I, the story just sort of came out from nowhere and expanded itself. Well, when you're writing, what I find is you, you enter an environment or a room and your characters speak and I write down what they say. It's, it's really strange. Um, it isn't as though you create anything. You're, you're, you're there like a fly on the wall and they talk and they do things and you write down what they say. And, and the, the first thing to do, I think, is, is first of all to get a structure. You know, you need to know, like a clothes hanger, where, where your story is going like a synopsis, like your own mental storyboard where you put down the characters and where they're going and um, where they are in their journey cycle uh, of their story, like Aristotle's curve, which obviously is really important to the, the, the journey of the hero, but then the journey of all the, the other characters who, who cross his path during, during, the, during that story. So that's important to establish right at the beginning. Having done that, then you, you you just let them your characters play the scene in their head in your head and write down what they say. Can you tell our uh, audiences uh, who you believe Sam Junby is? Who I believe he is? Well, the interesting thing is I'm not sure. Um, he uh, he comes to town and what he he achieves in this town is quite mystical. Well, he's a mystical character. What he achieves in this town is quite spectacular. Um, and because he is there, uh, so many good things happen. He's always in the right place at the right time. But who is he? Where does he come from? Or where does he go? Everybody has a different opinion. And the more, the more people discuss it, and uh, I've had people put slants on this, on this film, which are so way off the mark of where I, what I wrote, or at least what I thought I wrote. Uh, but that's good, you know, the more controversy we have, the more argument. But who is this guy? Where's he come from? Oh, no, you're right. Oh, no, you're wrong. Oh, great. <laughs> the more people talk about it, the more people go and watch it. John Schneider. Oh, terrific. What a, what a pro. I mean, what a pro. Quite an amazing guy. Uh, I mean, I always knew he was a good actor, uh, but I didn't know uh, how easy he was going to be to work with, how, how much he brought to the film. Um, from a... a uh, a visual point of view, he's, he's a dream uh, because he doesn't seem to have a bad angle. <laughs> wherever, wherever you shoot him, he looks good. And what I love about him particularly is the amount of time he doesn't spend in, in hairdressing and makeup because his hair, he literally does, <laughs> and it's done. You know, he has this great sort of flowing locks. Um, so that's good, always good news. And he's always ready, he's always. Totally prepared. He's also he's always he hits his marks on every occasion. Um, he's incredibly generous with his fellow actors, uh, but he also brought a lot of help and technical assistance to us in terms of um, his movement to camera, his choreography to camera, uh, which really helped us with uh, the blocking out of scenes and speeded things up on many occasions. I mean, John is a dream, absolute dream. Funny enough, one of the most exciting moments was, strangely enough, the night, the night before the end, uh, where we had George who came in as a, a blind singer who, who was put in the story quite late, and um, uh, sits down and, and, and had written his own sort of little blues riff called Lucy May, Lucy May, um, what you gonna do? Lucy May, Lucy May, the devil's after you. And we'd put, a, um, a brazier behind him, a flaming brazier, simply as an effect, um, um, you know, just to light up the background in this particular shot. And when he did, sang those words and the flames were coming up behind him, and I was looking at the screen and thought, my God, that is a hell of an image. And there's a scene with Jen Godson right at the end, which, uh, where she's, um, she's very drunk and very abusive. And it was a terrific performance from her. And I will remember that for a long time as well, her, her, her behavior uh, and how she, she completely nailed a, a drunken rant and rage. 
it's very funny when you write these things and then you see an actress performing them. It's quite, wow, did I write that? <laughs> because she was so wonderful at it. Yeah.